So today I'm going to be transferring a couple of the parts here from this pre-built HP Omen. Uh, I'm going to take the CPU, SSD, and a couple of the hard drives out of there. Put it into this new 4000D airflow case from Corsair. Got a new motherboard, a couple fans for the front. Um, new power supply. That's the new CPU cooler right there. And I do have a 3080 Ti on the way. All right, now that we got this uh, HP Omen here on the side, what we want to do is take out the CPU cooler. And HP made it a little bit difficult, but you need this special screwdriver here if it'll focus. I'll leave the link in the description also, but you need this to take out the four screws here. There you go. That's what it's called. Um, so let me go ahead and take off this CPU cooler. As you could see, the way this stock CPU cooler was didn't really do a good job. Um, I think HP might have addressed it in the new ones, but it only covered that circle part of the CPU. Um, and this thing got really noisy and really hot, which is when I had this system as well, I, this was like the first thing I switched out. So before you even go take out the CPU, um, if you want to get a little bit of alcohol here, uh, spray it on like a microfiber cloth or a little paper towel, not too much, um, just enough to get this residue off of there. Let's see. All right, now that that's nice and clean, go ahead and lift up this little stick here. All right, about right there, and then you're gonna see the CPU actually lifts up. Grab it gently, just pull it straight out. Then you're gonna put it in a safe place, not pins down, leave it face up on like a clean uh, cloth or paper towel or like a mat or something. Next thing we're gonna do, take out the RAM. Which also, I don't know why these pre-builds always have only two slots, but it is what it is. There you go. Got the two out, put those somewhere safe. Next thing we're gonna do is take out this SSD here. Be careful you don't lose it. I believe the new motherboard comes with the little screw also, but just in case, don't lose this. Then you're just gonna, it's gonna lift up and then just pull it straight up. I'm gonna put that somewhere safe also. All right, now we're gonna move on to our motherboard here. All right, uh, first step now, we're gonna put the CPU back in. All cleaned up pretty nicely. Yeah, I would say so. So you're gonna go ahead and gently place that on there. Do not put any pressure. Let's check if it moves, it does not. Go ahead and bring that down. Your CPU is in place. Um, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the RAM back into this and it's dual channel, so we're gonna be adding it to slots two and four. There you go, first one in. Second one, so we got the clicks on both. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add the SSD. Go ahead and take this off. So it snaps in there. Don't overly tighten it, just enough. There you go. That's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put our heat sink back on. Pretty much just, yeah, right there. When it stops turning, that's when you're gonna wanna stop. That's on there nicely. All right, we're done with the motherboard for a couple minutes. Um, time to go ahead and open up our case. 
So there it is, that's the 4000D Airflow, the black case. Um, there's a couple different options. You could get white, you could get um, the 4000, I believe it's called X with RGB fans already in there. There's a non-airflow version, which is pretty much the same. It just doesn't have this mesh front. It's a solid uh, face plate. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and we're gonna put our motherboard in there. Okay, now we got this on its side. Um, it's got a couple cables. This is where the motherboard's going right here. It does come with one fan, um, which we are gonna remove because we did buy um, three other Corsair RGB fans. So let's go ahead and get this motherboard installed. And real quick before I go ahead and start, I just wanted to show you that right here in the motherboard, um, sorry, the hard drive tray, there's a little box here from Corsair that has a couple cable management sleeves right here. That's the tray for the hard drive. And then this is the bag of screws um, for the motherboard, some more cable ties, some more screws and standoffs and stuff like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the motherboard in. Nice little peel right there. Oh yeah. And then there's one more peel right back here. Oh, that wasn't a clean peel. There you go. There you go. Go ahead and grab your motherboard. There is a center screw that's already sticking out that kind of helps you, um, it guides you to where you should be putting it. Let me get this little cable out of here. Everything's in there now. This is a center screw that's already kind of sticking out that helps you guide where you need to put it. And then you'll see there it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, time to swap out these fans here. Um, it only came with one. I popped out the front mesh and the vent. Uh, now we're gonna take out this one fan and put in our Corsair SP120s. Go ahead and get that fan out of there. Um, it's a good fan though, I mean, if you wanna keep it, but we're going with the RGB in the front. So the RGB fans come with this little RGB hub, but that's not what we wanted actually. So this is what we wanted here. So you could have six fans plugged in here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six RGBs. That's right here. If you want a little temperature sensor, you could, it's like a little sticker thing you could put somewhere. And that's where you're gonna part, uh, plug in your AIO. All right, back to the fans. So you want this facing the outside of the, the case and this facing the inside. So remember, the pretty side sucks in, the not so pretty side blows out. All right, we got the fans in there now perfectly. Um, and then went ahead and routed the cables here through the back to make for uh, easier cable management later. All right, and with the radiator, so we're gonna go ahead and line it up a little bit and we're gonna mount it up like this. This is gonna go on the top of the case here. It's gonna go onto the CPU and then the, the tubes are gonna be out like this. Um, what we are gonna need to do is swap out. These mounting brackets are actually for Intel. Go ahead and take those out and we're gonna put the provided AMD ones on there. That way it mounts up properly. All right, before we even uh, swap out the mounting bracket or anything, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to the top of the case. That way it's in place uh, and it just makes everything a lot easier. I think we agreed like right here is okay. Get that screwed in. And like I always like to do, uh, hand tighten first, and then, then we go ahead and go over with the screwdriver. Okay, we got that in there nice and snug. That ain't going anywhere. 
And now the next step, um, they want us to remove these two brackets right here. If you can see this one and this one. So we're gonna unscrew those, um, hold the back plate, put on the new um, mounting bracket on the cooler. So swap out this one for the AMD one. And we can go ahead and get that screwed in. All right, we got the second one off. Um, and you just heard the back plate fall down, which we're gonna have to, probably gonna be easier to put it up on the side, hold the back plate in. Um, but first, let's go ahead and swap out this to the AMD one. So it's this one right here, that says AMD AM4. Careful with the thermal paste. Go ahead and pop this off. And then you're gonna slide these out sideways. One, two. You can go ahead and rest that there. Put this in a safe place. Okay. And now these pretty much go on the same way we just took off the other ones. So just slide and slide. Bam, there you go. Then you could, oh, let's line it up real quick. To see. Without touching the thermal paste. There you go. Bam. Okay, so let's go ahead, lift this up real quick. So we could put the, push the back plate back on. So let's see if you can see this. Um, we went ahead and pushed the back plate back on, and we're gonna be putting four of these on there. So four of these. That's gonna be. It's hard to tell, but there's. This is the bigger side. This is gonna go into the bracket. The skinnier side is gonna go onto the mounting right there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, now's the fun part. Uh, it's getting this. Onto here, let's make sure our wires aren't in the way. And make sure everything's nice and snug. And go ahead and line this up nicely. We're gonna do a little peel action right here. There you go. All right. Getting close on a couple more things. Power supply, cable management, and we're gonna put in my graphics card now until his gets here, which should be on Thursday. All right, we're almost done with um, this whole CPU cooler part. Now these two cables here, one's gonna go into the motherboard, this little one. This one's gonna go into the back controller. Um, actually, I'm sorry, the AIO pump is this one. And exhaust fan is gonna be that one. Coming around to the back of the case now, um, we're gonna wanna plug in, these are the case cables that came with it. Um, so everything's gonna plug in except uh, there's a USB-C plug that uh, is for the top, which this motherboard does not have support for. Um, so everything's gonna get plugged in except one. Um, so let's start with this one that says audio. I'm gonna plug it here in the very left portion right here. Let's go ahead and get that on there. So this right here, I'm gonna wanna plug in, it's hard to see, here at the top. Okay, that's on there nice. This is the one that doesn't go. That's the USB-C one that we do not have support for actually. And you got these tricky little cables here. Power, reset, and then power LED plus and negative. This is where it gets a little tricky. All right, I got those in there now. Let it focus. So it's power, SW, then reset SW. And then you're gonna do the power LED plus and power LED minus. Uh, but also refer to your motherboards because they may be a little bit different than this one. 
Now it's time for the power supply. Um, we went with the Corsair RM850X, fully modular. All right, let's go ahead and get this opened. This out. There it is, look at that. So, starting off in the back, we're gonna use We got one cable here for the CPU. This is your main motherboard power adapter, the 24 pin. SATA cable just for the hard drive. PCIe here for the graphics card. Which I believe we're going to need two of because that 3080 is a beast. Now you want to make sure you line up these properly. Uh, make sure you're using the CPU cable into the CPU because if not, it'll short out and it won't start. It'll start for like a minute and then turn right back off. Had that problem before. Let's go ahead and slide in this power supply right here. Gonna be a tight fit with all these cables, but seems like we're all right. I'm just gonna slide down right around. Right around there is perfect. And then now we can start routing everything to the front of the motherboard. This is our CPU cable. I'm gonna run this one up to the top here. All right, here we're gonna get our 24 pin plugged in. A little tight. Um, all right, now it's time to handle this spaghetti we got here in the back. Um, we go ahead and set this up. So it's got two plugs here. Um, one is a SATA power and one is a USB that we're gonna plug into the front of the motherboard. Oopsies. <laughs>